Scorpio, for some reason I keep hearing, um, shame, shame, I know your name, but it's good that you know that your name, but I don't, I seem to be forgetting what your name is. So it's kind of like that you, you talk to someone, or unless it's dementia, or you work for people at the hospital, or someone's showing signs of uh, dementia, and like, I forget what my name is, or I forget what your name is. I'm sorry, what was your name? Because <laughs> I keep hearing name, 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 okay, or Neve. The name Neve, Eve, or Steve. Well, I just haven't forgot your name. So it's kind of like Neve, Eve, or Steve, or like Shane, Shane, or the name Shane, or Sarah, or, or anybody beginning with S, okay. But I also keep hearing I spy with Elijah's spy. <laughs> so Elijah, Elijah, or like I spy with my little eyes, something beginning with so I, I've got no idea why I'm hearing those, but it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, I seem to be going over names, like names and addresses, like I need your address and what's your name and oh shit, I forgot what your name and address is. So unless you forget what my dress size is, unless you're looking at something to do around weight, okay, but like, oh, I need to know what your name is and what your dress size is or your address is, like I need to know your name and address. So, unless you're looking for a new one or someone's looking for your name and address in order to be able to come and visit and stay, I like I can't remember what your name is and what your address is. So I don't know what that is, or I can't remember what your dress size is. So is it where you might be shopping for Christmas or something like that, and you're going to look to buy a load of clothes, but you can't remember who you're buying it for, or you can but you can't remember their dress size? Okay. Because they keep saying, like, I'm sizing something up around dressing up, okay, about dresses, about clothes and material. So it's like looking for a size. Because I keep seeing in my mind, like, a, a tape that goes around someone's middle and they say, well, we just need to take your size and find out what size you are before we can actually give you, like, a T-shirt or something like that. And, like, I want a T-shirt, but I don't know what my size is. So... Something like that, okay, so something that cap sizes, so it could be around a Capricorn, okay, or a Gemini. So you might be looking to buy something online, clothes, but you want to buy it, but you just don't know what your size is. So it might be like me, for, for instance, like I'm a large, <laughs> so a larger, or you might be getting larger, like you might be uh, doing something around Elijah, or like... Um, uh, like lying about your size or your size bothers you like me okay I'm a Scorpio rising like something about your size like you might be getting bigger and you're going up a dress size or you're going up in a clothes size or you're going to look to buy some clothes that are slightly bigger or smaller I don't know but it's something your messages are very strange at the moment Scorpio it just seems to be around like my size is getting bigger or smaller or and I'm looking for clothes that are slightly bigger I mean is any of you out there pregnant or anything like that and they're looking for a like to to get bigger clothes because they keep saying like I'm getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger or I've lost a load of weight and I have to go shopping because I'm getting clothes because they don't fit me anymore so it for some of you you might be unfortunate like me where you might be going up <laughs> a clothes size maybe or well not really I'm kind of sort of the same really but like like up a dress size or down a dress size or up in clothing range or down in clothing range or uh, like you're going to a shooting range or so, like golf, I'm not saying golf, or shooting range, right? Um, but something around that we need to buy something, but I need to know what the size is first. So is it something to do around a ring, or is it someone that's going to be asking you? I need to know what your size is first before I can like have a t-shirt or buy you something for Christmas, but I really need to know what your size is. So it might be where you're looking to buy a person, or someone is you, a present, but they need to find out what that size is first for you. And it's either clothes or a ring or something, okay, or a phone. So it might be, I need to know what the phone size is before I buy a phone, or Bowden, the name Brian, or Bowden, okay, Carla, Carla Bowden. But like, you know, I need to do something first to find out what uh, size that is first. So I don't know what that is, unless you're going large, like we're going eating food and it's well, like we go large all the time. Okay. Um, or somebody's buying presents, or you might even work in a shop where you sell clothes all the time and you're always looking at different sizes. 
like at all different shapes and sizes for things. So unless it's like patterns, like you're looking for designs or patterns of things that are different shapes and sizes, like I'll need to look at something and see what size that is and measure that. And then, I mean, are you building something or resurrecting something and you like need to find out what the size, all they keep saying is that I need to find out what the size is. And I also need to find out your name and address before I can send you it. Okay. So I don't know, because I'm also hearing seal it with a loving kiss. So is it something around a, oh, I keep hearing Hershey's kiss. So that's like food. So like food related, finding what the size is of food or like, does it have this in the food? Like, can I eat this because it has certain things in the food, like nuts, like an allergy or like Ali, the name Alison or Ali, but I'm going up or down the dress size or someone that keeps like, I don't know, changing their appearance by their size. Like they're either getting a lot smaller or bigger or they just keep changing their clothes all the time or something like that. And it's around sizing sizing someone up okay so unless you're getting married and you're going for like a wedding dress or something like that because that can be an address but a dress so i'm going to buy a dress and i need to find out what my size is so unless someone is like like i said going to physically like get married or something like that and the the husband or someone needs to find out what their dress is or their ring size is before they get it because they don't know what that is from their partner so it might be where someone's getting a, some clothes or a ring even i don't i don't know or a phone they keep saying like a phone someone's buying possibly a new phone and they could be browsing around to find out which one to buy like do i want a large phone or do i want a small one I mean, whatever it is, it seems that some of you are searching for something that may be a little bit bigger. So that could even be like a house, okay? And like, I want a bigger room, for instance, right? And like, I need a bigger room, so I want to look for a flat that has a bigger room, okay? Or a house where there are plenty of us and we need a bigger house, but we need more room, okay? So it might be even where you're changing your room around because you need more room because of things that you've bought. Or like you're going through your clothes and you're looking like all oh, that can be thrown out. Okay, and I need more room. So we're going to have to throw all of this out so I can make more room. Because whatever it is, it seems to be throwing stuff out, buying stuff, replacing it with others. Okay, or your mother is doing this and your mother is constantly and always fucking cleaning and like throwing things out and then literally decluttering everything and then buying loads more stuff and then can't fit everything in. Do you know what I mean? So it might mean where you might have a pantry or you might like look at buying a new fridge or something like because there isn't seems to be enough room to fit things in. So it might be a new fridge. It might be a new cooker. I don't know. I will not say a cooker, but like a fridge or something. And we're looking for a new fridge because we can't fit all the food in it. Or I need a new wardrobe because I can't fit all my clothes in it. Or I need a bigger head because I can't fit my fucking ego in it. In it. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Or like um, something like that. Or I'm moving and I need a bigger house so we can't fit all of my stuff in this small flat. So I need a bigger house to be able to have all of my stuff in it, right? Something like that. Or it's stuffing and you're turkey. And you're like giving a good old fucking ram into a turkey. And like, I need to put more stuffing in there. So you could be cooking or something like that. And like I can't get enough in it. <laughs> Okay, like, so I need four burgers instead of two. And I can wonder if I can fit more in it, <laughs> right? Uh, or if I can widen my mouth a little bit and, like, so I can, like, get more in, <laughs> right? I don't know. Well, uh, I, need to, I need to get something enlarged. So it might be a photograph. Well, actually, Libra had this around photographs about taking loads of photographs or films, okay? And I need to get something enlarged. So it might be where you've got a photograph of someone, but you want a decent photograph that you've got and you want it enlarged, okay? So something like that, like I have a very good photograph, but I want it enlarged, okay? Something like that. And I want some, I mean, it could even be your tits. I don't know, someone got small tits and they're like, look, I've only got small these and I love taking photographs of myself and everything else is perfect. Y'all really could be dealing with the Libra energy of the, all of these fucking multiple photographs or Cancerian. Okay, and like I've got all of this, but like I need an enlargement of here so I can look even more beautiful. And like I'm, you know, I'm having bigger lips, bigger tits, bigger hips, and everything's got to get slightly bigger because this is all perfect, but that isn't perfect. So I need bigger ones here or something like that. And I'm going, I, I need a, an operation in order to make something bigger because I'm perfect everywhere else, but just maybe not in other areas. Or you might be looking at having something reduced. 
So it might be like some of you could be have lost a load of weight and you want some kind of like operation around your body or something like that is really what I keep picking up or uh, I, I don't know. Picking up some very strange messages for you, Scorpio. So I don't know what they are. It's either food related, house related, moving stuff, uh, cramming things in. Okay, it could even be work. Like I've got so much work now that I've got to cram it all in. Okay, uh, or it might be where your food is getting bigger and I can't wait to just cram it all in. Uh, unless you're pregnant or you've just got a food addiction like myself, which is uh, obsessive compulsive disorder of food. Okay, um, or something like that, like cramming work in or cramming something in. Or like uh, like I said, um, going larger around uh, like clothes or breast size or something like that or bigger chicken <laughs> i don't know but i need something bigger i need something bigger and better okay so there you go so that's what i've got for you scorpio you can also watch this as an aries for a lot of you okay so you might even need a big a bigger bra you might be going up a bra size <laughs> or then brian or something like that but somebody really could be buying someone a gift here and they're trying to find out what a person's size is so they can buy it for christmas so they might have something in mind for you. So if you didn't know, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Well, good news, bad news, I don't really know. Could we really be dealing with the Libra energies too somewhere? But like um, somebody is searching for someone's size to buy them clothes or a something to find out what that is so I can buy you it. Okay. Okay. So there you go. Or give you it. I don't know. Whatever it is. So Scorpio, from the 7th until the 14th. From the 7th until the 14th. For Scorpio, from the 7th to the 14th for Scorpio. Bam! Libra, there you go. Number two, we ain't even speaking about it. So someone is keeping a secret, pretty much keep it hush, hush, hush. Mum's the word. What are we going to buy our mother for, for Christmas? What am I going to buy my mother for breakfast? What is that? I'm going to buy a big breakfast. Denise, Van, Alton, something to do with Van, Haley, um, or uh, Johnny, John, Vaughan. We're not speaking to John. Oh dear, Nicole and John, or, Connor, or Dave, sorry. Something's going on there, right? But something about like, not speaking to you, I'm not talking to you. So you might even be doing something behind someone's back, trying to buy them a gift or a present. I, I really don't know what that is. Because normally this is obviously not speaking to somebody, okay? But it, it <laughs> but it's also, I keep hearing through this card that I'm not telling the person that I'm buying it. Or I'm not telling the person. Like, I, I, I don't want to tell them. I want to find out before I do it. Okay, so, like, I need to find out stuff first before I buy it. Okay, can I try it before I buy it? <laughs> Maybe. Someone actually asked me that around tarot card readings. Can you do me the tarot card reading first before I pay you? And then if I like it or not, then I'll actually send you the money if I like it. <laughs> really? You think I'm going to fucking waste my time doing that? <laughs> can I have a free tarot card reading, but we don't pay for them. We need to know first, and then I'll pay you if I decide if it's any good or not. Oh, trust me, I had a couple of those a while back. You don't got to be off your fucking mind. Um, but yeah, not speaking to someone. It's probably Elijah and Lee still going through the same thing. Okay, probably still going to things. Steve, Stephen King, might or might not be speaking to a mother or someone like that, or just look really, really not really paying anyone that much attention. Uh, for some of you, like I said, you, 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 it's the same energy as what's been coming out for quite some time, where you're still fighting over children, having to go to court, not speaking to the person, trying to gain access for them, blah blah blah, so on and so forth. You really could be dealing with another Scorpio or an Aries. Life path four. Um, but yeah, not speaking to a person, not speaking to the ex, that's for sure. Perchy, Pucci, Paula, Pisces involved, not speaking to them, blah, blah, blah. I've had children, not speaking to them, trying to gain access, so on and so forth. Still the same messages, still going through the same thing. Thanks very much. Good night. <coughs> anyway, Scorpio, from the 7th until the 14th, from the 7th until the 14th, for the 7th into the 14th for Scorpio. Bam! And there's Pisces and there's my mother. I'm not speaking to her. <laughs> She's batshit crazy. I'm not speaking to her. Or like I'm trying to buy myself a mother a present, but I'll buy her it, but I still don't really want to tell her too much about it. Unless someone's buying your mother a present, okay? And they're going to ask you and say, look, I really want to give this person something, but I need to know first. <laughs> okay, so it might be like, look, I need to know if you're in a relationship or not. Okay, because it could be afraid, so afraid not. It could be a Pisces. And I don't even know or don't know if you're in a relationship or not, or I don't even know if you want to speak to me or not. Right, so something like that. But if it isn't, if it isn't a loving relationship, it's a mother. So someone that tries to get your attention, focused on them, to speak to them, but you may not be. Okay, so you might not be telling them everything. You might be just palming them off for some kind of like palm reader. Or you might be, or a tarot card reader, or tarot, 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 tanya. But like, uh, I'm just palming them off with some kind of bullshit and lies, really. I'll just, just keep them sweet and just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. So anyway, so as you like, blah, 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 just need to know everything about your life. And everything. Um, yeah, not much. Anyway, got to go. See ya.
Very descriptive, non-responsive energy that's very quick, very sharp, very fast. Yeah, no, yes, no, yes, no. Some of you have been taught to lie to a person that much that you just basically just tell them either yes or no. And you keep it calm and you just go, yeah. Okay then, all right, so anyway, I just wanted to know, not really. How, anyway, how's your ass doing? Don't know, still got an hole in it. Oh great, you think you're funny, don't you? Yeah. Anyway, so I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Or like, hello, is that you? Yeah, that's me. Hello, yeah, bye. No, don't want to know. Sorry. <laughs> right, so something like that. Like, I can only speak to you but for, on a short-term basis or a short, long stay. Uh, Stacy also. Stacy, Steve, Sarah, Sassy. Let's see. Um... Or I don't even know what you look like. <laughs> you look better in the dark. I don't know. Or I've never even seen you before. Like, I don't even know what you look like. <laughs> like, I have no idea what you look like. Someone could... Because these could be pictures. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I have no idea what you truly look like. Because it's not a video. Why do I keep coming up this around... These these people... Even people are getting paranoid around me. <laughs> like, I don't mind what they are. It's just that I can hear, like... Like, I don't even know what you truly look like. You've never done a video or anything. It's like, or, or I don't know. Like, I've never really seen your face. Like, I, I don't know what you really look like. So you've never even spoke to this person. But someone's watching, but they never even spoke to them. <laughs> or someone's in the background and they've never spoke. Like, they've actually never raised their voice. Like, I've never even told you. I just watch you. But I, this is something around Libra and Pisces. I'm in the background there, but not letting you know that i am got my eye on you, like a lie on you. So it ran a Leo, but like I'm not, e I haven't even ever really told you the fact that I'm still in the background there watching, but not telling you that I'm watching you. These could even be people, like I said, around tarot card readings, the people that never comment, they never do anything, they never say anything. They just watch in the background and never participate. It doesn't matter. I don't care. But like, um, I don't even want to participate or like you don't even know the fact that I watch you is what I'm hearing. So I don't know. Is it someone famous? When will I, will I be famous? I can't answer. I can't answer that. Or is it the cat amongst the pigeons or cat or catty or Katia, Katia or Tara, Katia, Katiana, Tatiana, Rexon, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Um, anyway, let's see. Uh, 7th to the 14th for Scorpio. Really? Oh, don't do this to me. The golden, golden brown. Text you like my son. Text you. Stuart? Stuart. Okay, the name's Stu or Stuart or Arthur Stewart or a bar steward. Someone that probably works at a bar or a pub. I don't know. Um, but yeah, what is that? I'm offering to an empress, but I'm not going to tell them that I'm making an offer. So, I don't know, I, for some reason, the only thing I can make this up is that I'm thinking about giving someone a gift, but I haven't told them that I want to give them a gift. Well, you can give me a gift if you like. It's called a donation. You can find it in the description below. You can do it any time you like, actually, because there's a little thing, and it'll just say super, 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 super chat, or whatever it is. I don't know. It's still where all the likes and comments and things are. You can leave a, if you did, thanks very much, because somebody did, thank you. Uh, but you can leave them whenever you like. You can do a super chat. But I want to give you a gift, but I just haven't given you it yet or I haven't told you about it yet. Like, I don't know. Uh, Pollyanne, also, sorry. Thank you for the picture, okay? And also all of the other things that you've got. But there's one problem. I haven't got the time or the money, really, to send everybody all of these things. They, they are really nice, but I, I don't have the time. Like, everybody's in America. Like, I can't send everybody one little thing. It's, you know, I just can't do that. I'm sorry. But I, I can't even be bothered to go to the fucking... It's even closed here. We have to travel in order to go to um, our places because everything's shut down. But, uh, yeah, I, I just can't, like, wrap things and then, you know, send them off and get people's addresses and send them off and pay all the money that that's going to take in order to send things to America. I just can't do that, sweetheart. I, it's just it's too much work for me. <laughs> but uh, they are very nice, but I, I, I can't do that. Um, that's why I don't do it from here. My T-shirt range that you can buy, that's why I opted for the company. 
because the postage and packaging and the fucking time that that takes to do that that's why those companies exist because they do it all for you you just get a percentage okay but yeah me and sending things off i just i can't go with that um but let's see um so scorpio scorpio from the 7th into the 14th uh nine of cups so some of you really are struggling around your weight here or around a weight issue okay uh, or a big issue like someone has like a really big ego a really big issue a really big big tummy like myself um i'm also hearing tommy rock on tommy tom 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 thomas also thomas the cat thomas the tank engine really engine engine jen julian jason justin jackie jasmine um i don't know someone what the fuck is this person doing i really don't know they they love being watched they love being given gifts but they're not opening up for a relationship so this person unless you're in one i mean if you're in a relationship i've got fucking no idea but why on earth is this like i have a desire for someone but i'm not telling them that i have it <laughs> like uh, <laughs> like i love you i want you i've got this cup in order to give you but i'm not going to tell you what the fuck is that is it the sense that makes none is it what is it a nun? i don't know but like uh it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any money. It doesn't make any profit. Or a false prophecy. Like a false prophet. Someone that makes out that they're something but they're not. Okay. Making a false prophet or make it like... That can also be like a prophet. Okay. A prophet. Okay. A spiritual prophet. Like I'm a false prophet. Okay. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> so... Show me the other side, please. The other person connected to Scorpio from the 7th until the 1st. Uh, 7th until the 14th. For the other person connected to Scorpio. So two of swords, man. Y'all got Libra here. So what the fuck is that? This has got to be doing with your ex or your mother. It has to be. Because someone cannot make up their mind. I mean, I'll be honest with you and I'll give you this. I've just literally, obviously, Libra comes before you guys, right? So I did Libra. That come up hugely, obviously. Twos were coming up big in Libra reading right the thoughts and the feelings when I was doing the thoughts and the feelings man y'all got to see him because someone really was a player they had like four people on the go <laughs> four people on the go um or Fargo or Ferguson I don't know but like far Felix Felix F <laughs> F F in house Felix Felix couple 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 um I don't know. What is this for? Because I, I don't know. I can't make a decision. But I've got... See, there's an energy here of the high priestess, right? I have desires. I have things on my mind. But I can't tell you. I can't express that to you here. I can't say. I want to. And it's there. But I can't. So... Or like, I can't have time off work. Or I can't be free. Or I can't let you go. But I can't. I want to... But I can't. <laughs> so what is that? Because Libra had this negative, right? It was a negative relative, or it started off, their channeled stuff was around negatives. And it was around where the negatives turned into this. Camera. So it's either camera shy or the name Cameron, and it's to do with a child, okay? So this is coming up exactly the same as Libra reading, right? But like cameras or like... Um, I don't know, like, I have something on my mind, but I can't say. And it was to do with negatives. And the negatives turned into pictures. Okay, and I'm taking loads of pictures, but I want to, but I can't. And I'm trying to stop doing that. Or I'm not stopping doing it, and I can do what I like. I mean, that's great. I mean, I don't mind. That's what I was saying in the Libra reading. I think I've rubbed people up the wrong way. I don't mind what people do. Like, I don't. I just have to give you messages. Whatever they mean to you, I don't know. But there's an energy here of, like, I'm trying to stop, but I can't. Like, I have an urge, evil urge, right? I have an urge to do something. Because it could be addiction. Like, I'm addicted to food. I'm addicted to, like, not showing who I really am. Like, you know, like, you know, is that really you? Or is that not really you? Like, I really don't know if that is you or not. <laughs> I've never shown my face. So I, I really don't know who you really are. Like, I, I don't know. Because that can be a mask. Like, I'm trying to cover something up. Okay, so it could be a scar, or it could be like me. I'd try to cover up my weight, okay? I look completely different when I'm this way. But if I was to turn this way, man, I'd be completely fucking different, <laughs> right? So 
it, it could be something as simple as that. Like I'm trying to cover something about me. I'm trying to cover it up. It could be makeup. It could be stuff like I have got prosthetics and things and I have to completely cover myself up all the time. But women do that. That is what women do. It's, it can be like I'm trying to cover up. It, it can even be a feeling. I'm trying to suppress my feeling by covering it up. It can be a compulsive disorder. Also, I have it. Sorry, but it's also parts of bipolar and depression. Is a compulsive disorder. It's also called compulsive buying. Okay, it's part of depression and bipolar. Like you can buy things compulsively. Like you're like, oh no, I've got to have that. I've got to have this. I've got to buy loads of clothes. I've got to buy. I've got to buy because it's indulging energies. It, it, there's so many forms of it. What I noticed also through uh, addiction to foods, to foods, because I see food very strangely, right? Um, because I'm like this, this is how this goes for me, right? So it might be here, because it'll relate, trust me, it'll relate to something. But, like, I see food as, like, okay, right, I am going to fucking, like, get loads of food. And I'm like, right, I have to eat all of this before tomorrow, because tomorrow is when I'm going to start. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy loads of stuff, and I'm going to fucking cram it in as much as I possibly can until I feel sick. And then tomorrow, I'm going to start over a whole new leaf. Come tomorrow, I'm kind of like, man, I could really, like, you know. So you go and do the same thing. Those indulgements, like I've noticed through a compulsive disorder of foods, is where you can do this for, like, three or four times a week. Or five, or it goes up. It can get to an extreme amount, right? And you can overindulge a lot, right? It's an addiction. And then you have, like, a three or four day, well, I'm doing really well. And then all of a sudden, you're not. And you go straight back in. Um, so through that process here, there is something like, I want to, but I can't. Or I can't show. I have to cover it up. Like, And it might be an addiction to self, self-worth. Right? My self-worth. That can be where, like, like, image. Spitting image or image, like my image is everything. Like I am addicted to self-image, right? That is a problem for some. Addicted to my self-image. Because if people do not see me a certain way, then I'm worried about it, right? I'm worried about how I look. Truly. Okay. So I have self-image problems, which could be self-worth. Doesn't really matter what people think. It's what you think of yourself, right? If you think of yourself like me, which is like, man, I am fucking like, ugh, fat, right? I do, I beat myself up over it, but I can't do anything about it because I have a compulsive disorder. Okay, so it takes a lot of education for the brain for things that I have to go through that I'm going to hopefully start looking at. But there is something around here around self-image. Like, I have to keep this up because I have to show myself as a self-image. Okay, and if I don't get that desired... Uh, if I don't get that desired response, it's going to make me feel bad. So I can do something to make me feel good, but it'll be a, a compulsive disorder, okay? Because I'm doing it impulsively. I'm making rash decisions impulsively off an impulse, an impulse of an addiction, okay? So rational, irrational thinking because of this. Irrational, irrational thinking. It has to be an energy of like bipolar or depression, okay? Or self image. I make very silly, rash decision, decisions very quickly, impulsively, okay? So it can be on someone that's an impulsive liar. They just lie their fucking ass off, you know? They might have been taught to lie to a person that much because they don't want to speak. They don't want to admit something to the other person. So they just lie. So I've said this for quite some time. If you've gone through eras of like narcissism or gaslighting, right, by parents or by anybody, they teach you to lie because you palm them off with a yes or a no answer. So when they're really trying to find out info that you don't want them to know, you'll end up just saying, yep. Yeah. And if they keep arguing with you and making that worse, you end up just giving them an answer to satisfy them, which is lying because that isn't really how you feel. That isn't truly how you really are. Because a person can really teach you to lie by control. They'll control the lie out of you. After so many years of you lying to that person, what are you actually doing? 
lying to yourself, right? Because you tell yourself that much things about yourself that you're actually fucking lying to oneself, right? Because when you lie to a person, it goes to them and you lie and you lie and you lie and you lie. And you try to keep up that lie. It's, I said this in um, Libra. It wasn't about witchcraft, right? But it's about, it was about that kind of thing, right? So if I was to call myself Dave, and I said this in Libra reading, if I was to call myself Dave for fucking ages, right? I would start to believe that my name is Dave. And someone would say to me, what's your name? Dave. Oh, no, sorry. Because I have a nickname. My nickname, believe it or not, is Billy, right? Bill. Billy. Did any of you know that? But my nickname is Bill. Okay. I've been called it since the age of about six or seven is when people started calling me Billy, right? My whole town of people that I know, you're right, Billy boy. How you getting on, Bill? You're right, Bill? All of the time, nearly everybody calls me Bill Billy, okay? So sometimes when they say, what's your name? I'll say, oh, Billy boy, Bill, okay? I used to, I don't know, I'd say Steve, right? But still everybody's like, well, how come your name's Bill? It's not, it's actually Steve. Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know that, right? But like I said, anything that you tell yourself for a, a, quite a long time, people are starting to believe it. Everybody used to think that my name was actually called fucking Bill. It, <laughs> it isn't, it's actually Steve, <laughs> right? Do you know what I'm saying? So when you look at self-image and when you look at yourself, really, it depends on what it is that you're believing is there. Right, if you because that can really relate to like control, narcissism, and, and everything else. So I don't know where this is. This reading's gone, but it's something to do with around what it is that I'm truly telling myself. Right, it's admitting it because you can't look at a problem unless you admit a problem. Okay, you can't tell a person that they have a problem either. The person themselves has to come to that conclusion themselves that they have a problem. If they do. They have to identify it as a physical problem that they have to sort out themselves. Because you can't, no one else can do things for you. You have to identify the problem because it could be diagnosis. It could be a self-diagnosis. Okay, it could be like, I'm really trying to diagnose a problem that I have. But if people in your life or yourselves never admit a problem or a feeling, then you're never going to do any work on yourself. Okay, because if you really try to stop doing something, Okay, you're never actually going to be able to stop doing it unless you identify the fact that it's a problem. The first energy is admitting the fact that I have a problem. If I do and I want to stop, then I have to admit the problem to look at what that is of a problem that I have. Because if you can't admit those problems, you aren't never going to change. Right? People in life can actually physically change when you start to identify certain triggers of problems okay because you can work on it within yourself okay because you can adapt to people you can adapt to the other person's behavior but it depends if a person's teaching you to lie <laughs> right here because someone can say how are you doing anyway and you go yeah no i'm fine i'm brilliant and then you get home and you're like no i'm, I'm fucking really not okay <laughs> you know so when you see people you're like no i'm fucking i'm fantastic everything is great fucking people have problems man right admit it i have a problem i mean i do i have a problem around food i'm fucking fat i am overweight because i have a problem of overindulgent energy i'm a scorpio rising i have it in the 12th house as well my food quarter is all around problematic stuff within also astrology but it, do you know what it is stemmed from addiction from a long time ago i was an addict okay now i'm telling everybody everything of my story i was an addict and it starts from there. It stems from addiction. Because of addiction, of my, in my head, is so many years of trying to stop doing something that I physically ended up stopping doing it, right? But it stems from that because you end up telling yourself of a structure of your head of what not to do, okay? But then you replace it. Life in love is about replacing. You replace it from one to another, from one to another, from one to another, from one to another, okay? Smoking, I need to stop smoking. What do people do? They go to the food, they go to eat. If they stop, if they stop, uh, you know, you get addicted to the gym, okay? Then you find out that you're way too fucking thin because you've gone to the gym too long and you've spent too many years trying to perfect yourself by looking perfect that you end up looking fucking ill. So you end up with what? Bulimia, anorexia, okay? Looking too thin. Then they're addicted to being thin, having a bad opinion about food, the opposite angle of being addicted to food. <laughs> you see, once I was really large, now I'm really fucking small and really thin compared to someone else where it replaced the energy of the opposite way. Okay. 
bulimia and anorexia is exactly the same thing as a person that has food problems the opposite way around. Some get bigger, some get smaller. Some people that get smaller that have a problem around anorexia or bulimia end up exactly the other person that seems to get bigger as this person gets smaller. It's the same. Same thing. Okay. Is this around food? Is this around food? Well, I'm Scorpio rising. It is me. Hmm? I have a problem around food. Anyway, so let's see. Mental health. Mental health problem. So I have a mental health problem. I do. Um, let's see. 7th until the 14th. From the 7th until the 14th. From the other person connected to Scorpio. So you've got four of ones. So it could be a life path four, another Scorpio. And then you've got a Cancerian and a life path seven. So how is this going around the house? Not very well. Who am I speaking to? No one, really. Uh, trying to avoid the mother. Trying to avoid the ex. Still trying to get the children back. Trying to buy a home. Trying to move. Trying to get back in, but they won't let me. Trying to get back into their energy, but they won't accept me. Trying to talk to them, but they don't want to know. I don't want to know either, and neither do they. But they keep trying. God loves a trier. Trouble is, he won't help you. Hmm. That's the truth. What, you believe God helps you? Really? <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> Uh, he loves to try her, but yeah, you're supposed to try yourself. Try, try, try again, but then you fail. String of failed attempts in order to start a diet and continue it on. A string of failed attempts in relationships that never seem to work out. A string of failed attempts around a mother that just seems to never really do anything different other than just really smother you that much that you can't stand it, that you try to get away from them. A string of failed attempts to try and get through to your ex, to try and get access to the children that is not changing, and they're not changing their way, and neither are you. So you're going your way, and you're going back, but you're also trying to get back in. So someone's been kicked out or locked out and still trying to get back in and still trying to do the same thing because they haven't finished yet. They haven't finished their cycle. They haven't understood anything about themselves or the other person yet. You're still fighting against one another. And if you're not physically, verbally fighting one another, you're energetically fighting one another here because it's also trying to get one's attention at home. Okay, getting frustrated at home and getting pissed off and fed up. Okay, on this side. You've got seven and two, which is the nine, which is like a Virgo or a life path nine. So you've got narcissism and control here, 100%, because someone is trying to control their emotions against the other person. So you're both coming up as controlling, both of you. You will both see each other as controlling because you are trying to control your mind against the other person that is trying to control their feelings. That's why you've got Scorpio. Okay, finding it very difficult in order to be able to speak or talk to someone that I don't want to. You pressurize me in order to answer questions that I don't want to. So I have my limits, and if you keep pushing me, I will fucking soon explode. I have a lot of patience, but they do run out. And if you get on the back end of a fucking Scorpio, they'll take you down to the death card. Okay, They'll take you down to the point where you will never, ever get away or in. <laughs> right here. So, you know, if you've been fighting this side with a Scorpio for fucking ages to try and get in, and you can't, that's because they've blocked your ass. That's because someone said fucking no. Here, yeah. you ain't getting in, and you ain't getting out either, okay? So someone is equivocally going through something here around feeling bad around this house, around this home feeling intimidated about a house or a home or about someone around their house or home. This might even start to acquire movement of a person because it could be asked to leave. Could be asked to leave. You don't respect the place anyway, so I'm asking you to leave. Okay, might be here. So this could be a landlord because I'm also hearing Laura or landlord. Okay, Lanny, Laney, Lan, but like landlord. Okay. And if you're not doing anything and you don't want to be here, then you might have to move, okay? Because there's intimidation here, intimidation. Now, this can be where it's kind of like, I do live here and I do have rights, but I just don't speak to the person that I live with, but we coexist in the energy of avoiding. Because that's the learning to lie, okay? You learn to live with control, right? It's, it's quite simple. You, you do learn to live with control because everybody controls everybody. Everybody's obsessed, right? But you always end up lying to the person or palming them off with a, yep, yeah, good morning, yep, yeah, you're right, yeah. <coughs> Just trying to make out that I'm doing something so I don't have to interact with you that much. Okay, here. So, this is also like where I am not letting go because I own 
half of this mortgage, rent, home, house. I own it, you don't. Or we both own it or we both live here. <laughs> okay. But this could also be where it's... Uh, I think this came up around Leo. Leo isn't here, but I'm sure this energy came up around Leo or an Aquarian. Well, eight, basically. Leo or an Aquarian. You can also watch this as a... Uh, obviously, four, so Aries as well. Okay. But... Um, someone could be told to leave or they want to leave where they are because they're not happy. Okay, they're not happy. This person here might want to leave here, come here, but when here, it isn't discussed with the mother. These can be children or people that are in relationships and it goes from this four of wands because I'm not happy here and I come over to here and I'm happy here, but we lock the mum out and we don't, we, we try to keep our love life or thing private from people like we don't tell the mother what's really going on like, you know we try to avoid it because if there's a narcissistic mother that's in a family here right if it is then that's an energy of i'm not telling a person that i'm doing something okay because there's someone here that i don't want to know my business i don't want them to know so i just palm them off with a little bit of yes and a little bit of no and a little bit of this and a little bit of that but it's very short term, it's very brief. You might be going to see your brief, you might be going to court, watch the Libra reading or the two, doesn't matter. Life path number, life path number, add them together. If that comes to a two, watch the Libra reading. If it comes to a four, watch Aries or this one, Scorpio. Okay, You'll see the signs, you really will. You'll see the reading. Um, I'm hoping, I'm trying to educate people into the spiritual side of numerology of seeing more <laughs> right but anyway so i want to see you more i want to see you more i want to see you more often i need to see you a little bit more than what i am because you're not seeing me all the time i want to see you more and more someone's obsessed about seeing someone daily all the time or the name lee but i want to see you more i can't just see you once i have to see you every day but i want to see you more is what i'm hearing i want to see more of you okay so i don't know what that is whether it's a child or a person but i want to see you more okay so that's what I've got for you guys. Uh, if you want to join, it'll be the full access bundle. I'm going to do you another card, clarify these. There'll be two separate stories, one also story, and then also thoughts and feelings from your partner about you or about the circumstance at hand, depending on what happens. So basically you get like three sort of like readings really and one involvement. But we see what the story unfolds, but you will only get it on the full access bundle. It really does help out the channel because it helps me survive. Uh, stay tuned for vlogs because that could really be happening okay very soon with the camera that i've just bought also to invest into the future gonna do some stuff with some mates as well like some of my mates are all fucking british son. so we're gonna do some music and stuff like that my mate's got a fucking uzi there's a paintball gun and just splatters it all over the fucking wall so we're gonna do some weird shit bruv but that's coming up maybe after christmas but stay tuned join the other channel also free music Angel Radio as a music producer. Also, fucking uh, <laughs> uh, video editing around scoring, film scoring, taking a load of videos, scoring my own music to it, and then doing some sort of documentary is my plan for the future for next year. Okay? So that's why I got the camera. Make some videos, document the music, add it to the video, make some documentaries. Okay? So, anyway, it depends on what that is. But it might be some calming music. But everything's provided below, Scorpio. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you over on Patreon.